Hi, this is Patsy's World of ICT, and welcome to part one of our Scratch tutorial where we're going to make a helicopter fly around. So we're going to learn to control movement of objects using the arrow keys. So let's get started. When you initially start up Scratch, it will always have the little cat here um, in the preview area. All right, so how you get rid of that is up the top here, there's some scissors. So you grab those scissors, they're the delete option, and you just scissor that cat. And notice down here um, that sprite disappeared as well. So we want to get ourselves a helicopter. We go to uh, this star folder here, and we need transportation, and the guy we need is helicopter here. Okay, and you click OK. That'll bring the helicopter out. Now that helicopter is a bit big. If you want to resize him, you have to uh, right click. No, no, not double click him. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to right click him and go resize this sprite. Now, see here you get these tiny little arrows. You can kind of move those in and um, make him smaller. All right, so that's a good size. All right, now that's our sort of uh, screen area set up. Now, we have this thing called scripts up here in the middle. This is where we write our code. Now, the first thing we need to start off with is uh, when the flags clicked. So when this thing actually starts, we want some things to happen. And what we're going to use is a forever loop. And we need some, um, let's see, motion here. No, sensing. So we need to check if a key's been pressed. So we grab this little building block here and pull it out and we put it in there. Now, I need a forever if, not a forever, okay? So when you want to get rid of things, you just drag them around with the mouse, push them down, and just throw them over into this area, and that takes them away. All right, so the guy I need is this guy, forever if. All right, so forever if, and in that little um, kind of diamond thing there, we're going to drop this in. Now, it's not the space key we want, so we press down on here, and you can say, we'll start off with right arrow, all right? So if the right arrow has been pressed, we want to do something. We want to do some motion. What we want to do is we want to move along. So um, we need to grab this first one, move, drag it out, and kind of snap it in place there. And we'll move five steps. will probably be good. All right, now, if you want to try this out, you can um, just sort of click on it and do the arrow keys and see the helicopter moving there to the right. Or you can press the green flag up the top right hand corner here and that starts off things as well. Now our helicopter's kind of reached the end of the road there and it's stuck. Uh, what we're going to need is um, something else. We'll go to control these orange ones first and we'll start off when it's clicked. And what we're going to need is to position it. So we'll set the X to zero and we'll also set the Y to zero. Now that's going to set up our helicopter in the middle of the work area. All right, so let's click the flag and try that out. And it's in the middle and we can fly it to the right. So things are going well. Now we need to do the fly to the left. Okay, once we've built one of these kind of orange blocks and blocked it in, you can actually um, sort of copy it, which is really cool. You right click and go duplicate, and it makes a duplicate you can drag around with your mouse. So we'll put that one underneath here. Uh, we don't want right arrow this time. We'll click on that and change it to left arrow. Now, we don't want to move five steps. What we want to do is we want to move to the left. So we have to say negative five, because remember, negative numbers move to the left. All right. Up here at the top where that sprite's defined, and we could rename that by the way, but I'm just not going to bother. Um, see here how it's got a little blue thing? It's a bit hard to see amongst the propellers there. That's telling us that it's turning to the right, and the direction here is 90, which means sort of 90 degrees, it's going to the right. All right, there's also some little buttons in here, like you can um, have this one to make it only fly left and right, but we want it to make it go up and down as well, so we're not going to click that. All right, so. Let's try that out. We'll click the green arrow. It starts in the middle and we can fly to the right. And if we hit the left arrow, we can fly to the left. Now, it's not real great because the helicopter's flying backwards, but we'll kind of look at fixing that up later on. All right, let's um, just duplicate this. And this time we need if the up arrow is pressed. Well, I've done down arrow, okay. So if the down arrow is um, pressed, 
uh, we need to um, change the direction here so it can move down. Okay, now that move minus five steps isn't going to do it because that's just going to fly it to the left. So let's just snap that block out and take it away. What we need to do is we need to change the Y coordinate. So we get this change Y and bring that in. And because we're going down, we need to go um, minus five. So it'll go in a down direction. And we'll just duplicate that guy quickly and paste him in and finish this whole thing off. Um, so the last thing we need is the up arrow. So we'll get that up arrow. And we want to change the Y by positive five to have it go um, up. You should know from your maps, remember the Y is the up and down axis and the X is the across. So let's click the green flag on the right and give that a go. And our helicopter flies to the right, push the left button, he goes to the left, he goes up, and the helicopter's going down. All right. Now, this sort of um, flying to the left thing isn't working too well. Uh, let's try and fix it. Uh, what we can do is, when this left arrow is clicked, okay, we want to um, change the orientation of the helicopter. So, there's a thing here to point in directions, and we can use one of these. We'll pull it out, point in direction. Now, if we change that to point in direction minus 90 here, which is left, um, that should make it fly left for us. So let's give that a try. So we can fly to the right. Oops, but when he goes to the left, he's going upside down and the wrong way. And up and down, he's still kind of upside down now. So that's turned out to be a bit of a mess. Um, what we will need to do is we'll need to have point in direction 90 at the start here. So 90, remember, is to the right. And we'll need to have all these point in directions to the right. When he's flying, um, for example, down, we just want him pointing to the right. And when he's flying um, up, we kind of want him pointing to the right as well. So we'll need to put in these point in directions. All right, so this is getting a little bit involved here. But um, hopefully you're still following this. Now, um, if we need to put in comments, you can right click in this area and we'll just do that, add comment. Um, and let's say, um, fly left and change direction to left. All right, so that's, we can sort of put that in there to explain what that guy's doing. All right, now let's just see where we're at again. Um, okay, we're flying there. Uh, we've still got a problem with the left button now. All right, so let's just stop. Okay, so we didn't promise this to be easy. So on this left arrow, we're having this problem here. Let's change that to moving five steps and try that out. Okay, so we fly to the right. Now when we fly to the left, we're actually going the right direction. But um, there's a problem there which I'll uh, talk about in a minute. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm flying to the right. I'm taking to the left now by pushing the left arrow. Now, I'm now gonna stop and press the right arrow, but this guy keeps flying left. All right, the problem with all of that is this move five steps kind of thing that we're using. What we need to, should be using in there, I think, is um, change X. So increase the X coordinate of the guy by five units, which will move him five to the right. And let's take out this move five steps and just throw it away there and move this one over to the left, which will just throw it away. And um, in here, all right, when it's left, let's get this change X and let's make that minus five to change the X coordinates to the left. All right, now hopefully we're now changing coordinates. We're not doing move forward or anything. So um, let's see, now we need a point in direction. Somehow we lost that too in here. We need a point in direction. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see, this could be it. Let's hope so, let's try it out. Helicopter starts in the middle there, up cross now he's flying around all right so he's upside down we'll fix that in part two of the tutorial but most things are working here and we've got the initialize each time that we click the arrow to start him off back here at zero zero all right so just remember use these change x change y coordinates is much better than uh using the um move steps one all right uh that's the end of part one so we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and there will be 
full details at our website, which will be in the YouTube details. There will be a clickable link. All right, then.